Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel once again today. We are back after I just had a few days break. Just taking some time off, relaxing a little bit, getting some of the other things in life together. And you know, we're back at it boys. And um, we're here to put on another spree. So if you are new to the channel, do be sure to hit that subscribe button. Because we're going to go back to hopefully daily uploads again. And we're going to be keeping it going boys. So do be sure to hit that button if you have not already. But anyways, enough shameless plugging aside. In today's video, we are revisiting this uh, just wonderful deck that you know we just we just love so so much, and that is going to be Goblin Giant Sparky. <laughs> it's just just such a high skill deck. I thought I'd give it another try, you know, because I mean we we had to we had to show off how high skill this deck is. And do you know what I mean after not playing for a few days, it's a, it's a good one to come back to because it just shows like you know we we can keep the skill going. Um, yeah, obviously I'm joking. This deck is still broken, and it, I honestly, I honestly just don't think they really care enough to do anything about Goblin Giant. I'm starting to even become of the matter. Like, don't get me wrong, Sparky's definitely like, it's not fun to play into, but like, it's not even the Sparky that's really the issue anymore. And by the way, that is beautiful value. I love that. Thank you very much, Vieira. Um, yeah, it's just Goblin Giant. Like, there's something so fundamentally broken about a uh, tank. Like a win condition that can also attack towers. Like I know you could make the same argument about the Ram Rider. The Ram Rider definitely isn't broken. But it's a, it's, it's, it's a very, very different kind of... By the way, we're going to take a lot of damage here. So I am just going to go in for the Sparky. I would have went for the minion. Oh no, that's not good. However, we might be able to just take the win here, to be honest. Can we see the tower? No, we can't. That's annoying. But we can get a big attack coming here. And as soon as he goes for his skeleton army, we will just go for this. Because he probably will go scar me like now. Come on. Oh! Let's hit the new emote. Hey boys, if you haven't got this emote yet, hit the hit, go over to my Twitter. I did share the link to get it. So you'll get this emote for free. I actually don't know why it's been given out. I don't know what it's for. I was obviously I just I came back yesterday to try and like just have a look. And yeah, it was just there and all over the timeline. So I was like, oh, okay. So I tweeted out a link to get it, and um, yeah, enjoy your free emote. <laughs> Not sure why it's free, but enjoy your free emote, boys. But that prediction was so filthy, I'm so pleased with that, honestly. Um, so yeah, we can just hopefully take this win right here, right now. One more arrows and this game's over. So we will go for the arrows whenever we need to. We're going to go for the Goblin Giant here. We'll drop the Rage. Uh, we'll drop the Mother Witch and that this the don't things anyway. He defends us really. The Mother Witch would get infinite value there. Actually never mind, the Sparky's just gonna be be greedy and take it all. And that is it for game number one, boys. Let's hop straight into game number two. And yes, we are back for game number two of today's video. And we pick up a nice, pretty nice win there first game. To be honest, it shouldn't have been as close as it was. I, I very much struggled to play against Freeze, and I don't know why. I never I never know what to do against it. And then it's such a I, obviously, yeah, it does cost four elixir, and that's like a big investment. But I feel like you always have to end up spending more than four, but it's around the damage that you take just from that from it, and like all the other factors. Oh, well, oh, that's gonna be a lot of damage. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that is not great. But yeah, but around the damage you take, and then follow that up with the. Sorry, with what you have to do to deal with the freeze after it's done. Sorry, I don't know what happened either. I got a bit, um, I just lost my complete train of thought. And we're still kind of a bit confused. But, uh, yeah, okay, we're, we're Mother Witch coming to the right here. And I forget what, what I was talking about, if I'm being brutally honest. We should take out that fisherman with ease. He's going to go for the bowler, a bit random. Or that piggy should get a good bit of damage off on this tower. And I'm just going to go for the minions to have this bowler right about now. And that should take that out. And we do take the damage lead from this, which is quite nice. What is saying about the freeze? That's it. And I feel like we like around the freeze. By the time you end up actually just dealing with the card, you end up spending more than that four extra investment. It just becomes so. Oh, oh no! Okay, let's go, Goblin Jam. Please take that out. Please, please, please. Oh my God, you're on the wrong one. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, pushed it. Okay, we're good. We're good. False alarm. I thought that was gonna be dangerous. It was not. It was okay. Mother Witch isn't gonna do anything because the Spear Gobby is just gonna go clutch. So um yeah we, we we don't we don't hate that. He's gonna go for Goblin Giant himself. That was a very very random. We should have to take that out. I'm gonna go for the arrows here before the mother. Never mind. Too late. 
We need to act faster than act as fast as we speak. Okay, we go for the minions here. That doesn't get hit off, which is really nice. We're gonna go for the bar barrel in front. Just to tank for the minions a little bit. We're gonna get the, the gonna get the bowler out of him. Now I'm gonna go for the Sparky in the back. I know it seems that Rogue, especially since he did use the lightning earlier from what I remember, didn't he? So we are gonna go for Goblin Giant now. I'm gonna hit the arrows as well, just take that out. I don't wanna deal with those. <clears throat> Letting them go on a rampage. I'm actually going to go for the knight plus minions over here. Nice, the knight should take for the fire fisherman. That's really nice. We're doing well here, boys. Okay, let's go for the rage. And um, we're not going to quite get a hit off, unfortunately enough. But you know what this means? We do have Sparky, so we're just going to cycle around and go again. <laughs> Why not? Let's just run it, run it back. Okay, now... Let's go for... I'm actually going to go for the knight at the right side this time. We can also hit the goblin giants. Now. He has used the lightning. Let's go for the arrows. Nice. And then we can go for this. Okay, can I get the knight down? No, I can't. Let's go for the rage here. Okay, nice. Knight, minions. No, never mind. Okay, let's run it back again. Run one more. I honestly might start switching up the lane next time if this runs another life because I don't want to just give him rocket value. Or not rocket, lightning value every single time. That's not great for us. Speaking of which. And my minions can take it out. We cannot have that getting hit. Nice, it doesn't. Bowler's going to get some damage off though. And is that? That's game, boys. Let's just show the game number three. And yes, boys, we are back for game number three against Sir Charles. Now... Going back to that, just reflecting back on that last game for a little a second, I knew I was messing up going up the right lane every time. I had a thousand damage lead up the left, and if I had a push up the left, it would have forced him in the left because I could have defended the right. So I really, really should have thought more and went up to the left instead and not just gave him free lightning value every time. But I mean, this is why we can look back on games and see the things we can do better for next time. So yeah, that's something that just if you... If you do are watching, you do play decks like this, that's something you should keep in mind. Trying to go damage both ends is never going to be a bad idea. Now I'm going to go for the Goblin Giant here in the center, just to pull. Not pull, but like, take the shot. And he is going to have lightning again, which obviously isn't going to be ideal. Now let's go for the arrows here, take out the boulder and the um, tombstone. And we're going to wait, I'm going to go rage now. I was kind of hoping he was going to go for like some kind of swarm card, but he didn't bother. But we might be able to take majority of this tower, like right here. Yeah, a good bit. Obviously, it's not fully, but majority. Like, it's a, it's a lot of it. I think, like, two arrows, two rages, maybe three, arrow, three arrows should take that out. But I'm hoping we can get some damage other than arrows. Um, okay, I'm going to go Sparky here. And I'll go for the Knight on top of the Little Prince. I'm also going to go for the Bar Bar. Just take that Little Prince out before he uses the ability. Actually, it does get some damage off, but nothing nothing too bad. I can't complain with that. I think, actually, I'm going to take that arrow value. Hopefully we can get our knight on, because he will have to react quicker, he might not have elixir, and he doesn't, so we can keep going, that's really nice. If I had a little bit more, I would go goblin giant in the pocket here, but we don't have it. But hopefully our Sparky's gonna go kaboom! Yeah! Sparky go boom. We love that, we love we love Sparky going boom. <laughs> Only whenever it's on their side of the tower, of the thing though, not, not my side, I hear whenever it's on my side. Okay, I'm gonna go for goblin giant here on top of the little prince, to distract, keep the minions up. Nice. Minions stay alive, that's quite nice. Can we get that down? The little prince is going to fall as well, so that's really nice. Good, great value there. And I'm going to start pushing up the right lane just to be annoying. Force him up the right lane as well. And he's going to also start going up the right lane. So, bad timing for him, great timing for me. We love it. Now, I'm going to go for my knight, mother witch here. I'm going to go for my evil knight. I didn't. I kind of want to go my evil knight in front of the spark here, but I can probably go for this in the pocket. <laughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to go for Rage here. He's not even going to bother, is he? Okay, he's just going to leave it. I respect that. Sparky should... Oh, Sparky should get another shot off. Take tower. Nice. Two towers down. We love that, boys. He probably will take my tower. We even get the little... Oh, that's so nice. I'm just going to go for the night on top of this now. And yeah, it's too little too late, unfortunately for him. Well, I mean, fortunately for me, unfortunately for him. And uh, yeah, boys, that is it for game number three. And yes, guys, this is the deck that we did use in today's video. 
very dominant deck, but we all know that. We all know what Sparky Goblin Giant is like. There's no need for me to even start explaining to you the benefits of the deck, but I can really quick. So we do have multiple spells. We have a lot of, as you can see, we can get good predictions. Go with the Reage now that has that, like, that value. I know it's had that for a long time, but in the game number one with that prediction was so nice. We have Swarm Killing with the Mother Witch. We have a secondary tank with the Knight, especially ever since the Evil version. Air Defense. We have everything in this deck, boys. So if you are looking for a new pretty easy deck if I'm being honest check this deck out give it a try and let me know what you think and I will see you all in the next video do be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and peace out